Oh, I see it. <laughs> All right. So uh, th we should be officially recording. Um, this is session one of Into the Borderlands. Um, this is me, uh, Mark Chance, Master of Dungeons, um, running a theater of the mind, old style game uh, with a uh, huge party of one um, comprised of my son, who is Palamon, a fighter. Of what race? Um, human. You, you had to look. You weren't sure. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. All right. Cool. Um, and so again, Palamon has just arrived at the frontier region where Borderland Keep sits atop the southern edge of the plateau, less than a half mile north of the winding river that flows down from the Valley of Haven until it tumbles down the cataract to vanish into the shifting sands of desiccated Cynodicea. Time was that Haven, the borderlands, and Cynodicea were bountiful civilized places, but that was before Princess Argenta died in a magical conflagration and the kings of Cynodicea went mad, and their lands were overrun by monsters from the south. Who knows? If Borderland Keep prospers, perhaps order and peace may be restored. Until then, the borderlands between Haven and Cynodicea promise adventure, glory, and riches for those enough clever to claim them. Ooh. Well, I definitely won't be the clever one. Well... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, that's the setup. That's the backstory setup. Okay. Uh, a little bit about the rules system. Uh, uh, Christopher, what did you make your character up using? Uh, the swords and wizardry. Oh. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. We are also going to be using an abbreviated um, version Ooh. <laughs> of, oh my, of Cine Nomine Publishing's Solo Heroes. And if the recording on this is working correctly, um, it that should be visible on the screen right there, right? And what Solo Heroes does is it modifies the way the rules work without actually um, having to change anything on a character sheet. Um, and generally speaking, uh, Solo Heroes works fine with any old school compatible system. If I remember right, it was originally written for Labyrinth Lord. Uh, <laughs> we're using it with uh, Swords and Wizardry. So there's that. Um, I'm going to make that go away now. Oof, ooh, it went away. I have powers, as, as befits the Master of Dungeons. Um, in terms of material that I have in here in my room, I have my red book for uh, Dungeons and Dragons, right? Isn't that exciting? Very pretty. Um, very pretty. And in terms of game prep, I have four modules, B1 through four, right? And those of you who are familiar with this uh, will undoubtedly have picked up some of the names from the background information that I dramatically recited not that long ago. So there's that. Um, now, um, I'm going to move the window here. Uh, oh, no, that did not work. I was trying to move the window to the top of the screen, um, but it doesn't seem to want to do it. Um, anyways, so if, if it looks like I'm not making eye contact, it's, it's because I'm, I'm staring at Christopher's picture and it's like right there, not there. Where the Just look at the giant head, you'll figure it out. Anyways, um, so Palamon, as, as I mentioned, um, you, you have arrived in the region of Borderland Keep. Matter of fact, you can see Borderland Keep not too far in the distance. It sits atop a, uh, a flat hill 
um, so that it commands the countryside all around commands the countryside all around. I need to rein in my hand. Normally my hand gestures are huge, right? But then you can't see them uh, because I have a small screen. Um, you have arrived in the region with your armor and your weapons and your zeal for adventure, um, as well as some rumors which you have heard. Um, rumors which you have heard. Um, and so now you, you need to have a D20. Okay. All right. And then uh, while, while you're getting that sorted, what should have appeared on the screen is a whiteboard. Is this to figure out which rumors? Yes. Yes, it is. And so if you'll give me a moment, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type on the whiteboard uh, so that Christopher can read the rumors and that in theory... Um, we can come back to them if we need to, you know, assuming I don't erase something off of the whiteboard, uh, that, that might happen um, in any event. Uh, the system that I'm using here, the Zoom, is is pretty, uh, pretty basic. It's free. It doesn't have all sorts of fancy bells and whistles like um, I've heard Roll20, I think it's called, has. Um, I'm not really interested in fancy bells and whistles because that requires learning new things. If I was interested in learning new things, I wouldn't be flipping through books that are, you know, 30 years old to play a game. So, <laughs> so there. Anyways, um, Christopher, if you will please uh, roll a d20 two times. Uh, first one was 19, as I sent in the private chat. Well, I am... Um... The second one is a one, so it seems like everything's normal for me at least. Okay, all right, so very good. So somewhere in the borderlands lies the lost fortress of Rog, On, and Zeligar, mighty adventurers. You have heard that you've heard <laughs> there are secret doors rooms and passageways in parts of this fortress heard that another number a uh, natural one a natural one outstanding you've also heard that Somewhere near Borderland Keep lies the dreaded Caves of Chaos. Ooh, be scared. Yeah, not feeling the fear. Anyway, <laughs> um, a merchant. Wow, I forgot how to type. No oh, embarrassment. Happens to the best of us. Imprisoned in the caves will reward his rescuers. Boom. So there's your two rumors. Okay. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I thought so. All right. So in any event, as I said, um, there's the keep atop the hill. Um, it would look something like this. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I guess Let's see. <laughs> What is that? I think that's a guy on a horse. So I guess that's me. Yeah, that's you. Okay. Right. I don't. Well, actually, you're you're one of the people on foot. So yeah, I probably. Don't know who the other people are right. You probably can't afford a horse at first level. No, not with the other stuff I bought. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. All right. So uh, the sun is setting. Borderland Keep is not that far away. What do you do? I guess I walk up to the keep and see if I can gain entrance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Um, as you're approaching the keep, um, you, you cannot perhaps help but be impressed. I'm impressed. By, by how big it is. All right, this, this is not a tiny little border fort. Right. This is a major power. 
Yes, at least at one point in time. So as you're approaching the main gate, you see there's two towers, each 30 feet high, battlements atop. Um, the gatehouse itself is 20 feet high. Um, there are holes um, in, in, in the stonework for bows and crossbow fire. Um, the deep crevice in front of the keep is spanned by a drawbridge, which is currently down. Oh, um, there, there are a handful of people moving back and forth across the drawbridge. You're not attracting too much attention. Um, as you can tell just by looking around, uh, uh, folks walking around in armor with weapons are not an uncommon sight. Ah, okay. It's about the only thing I have on me, so that's good right. to know. In this area. But anyways, there is that deep crevice spanned by the drawbridge. Um, as you're moving across the drawbridge? Yes. Okay. See, my voice went up at the end. That indicates a question. <laughs> Sorry. My, my, my amulet of pedantic talking is, is kicked in. Mm. <laughs> it's a pendant of pedantic. Anyways, um, where was I? What was I saying? Oh, you were moving across the drawbridge. That's right. All right. All right. You, you can see the, the portcullis raised, right? The, the, the bottom of the portcullis sticking out of the ceiling overhead. And as you're looking up, the ceiling overhead is put, pierced with murder holes. And oh. the shadows of guards moving around up there as well. Um, two uh, men of arms, two men, no, no, not men of arms. They're not men of arms. That would be strange. <laughs> that, uh, that, that would probably be a situation where we'd have to roll initiative. Um, two men at arms yes. um, are manning the entry into Borderland Keep. Um, each is clad in plate mail, and they are armed with uh, halberds and swords and swords. Um, one of them sees you coming, looks you over. You got any weapons out? Um, I'm carrying weapons, but I'm not sure if he's like... <laughs> Well, that's up to you. Now. <laughs> that's why I asked. Don't think that would be smart to draw a weapon while walking into an armed keep. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So your character has a moment of smartness. It could happen. And um, as you're moving into the keep, uh, the, the guards are looking you over. As you pass by, one of them says, make sure you keep those weapons where they belong if you don't want any trouble. Okay. Okay. And then a moment later, that would be the yeah. who is, uh, for some strange reason, going ape. My dog is going ape. It could happen. We'll pause here. And on that note, I think we're done. One day late, two days late, and another door.